treat 16 as 17 again because, again, I mentioned it yesterday, but I guess I wasn't that clear, and I want to be a little more clear. And I will ask the Father, the Father, earlier he said, so that the Son may bring glory to the Father. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another counselor to be with you forever, the Spirit of Truth. Notice Jesus is the Son who brings glory to the Father. He prays to the Father, asks the Father for the counselor to come. How can you say the counselor is Muhammad when in the Quran, Allah is not a father? The Quran consistently says, Jesus is not the son of Allah. Allah is a father to no one. He has no children. But this counselor will be sent by the father of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ the son. How in the world can this be Muhammad when Muhammad denied Jesus is the son and denied that Allah is the father of Jesus or the father of anyone? How can you still insist this is Muhammad? You can't say it's edited because you have no manuscript evidence. All the Gospels of John read the same way. And the Quran confirms that Allah preserved the writings of the prophets, including Jesus. But we can talk about the evidence later. Please address uh -oh. the points that David and I raised. The Spirit will live in them. The Counselor was already there with them. The disciples knew who the Counselor was. He would live in them, showing He's omnipresent. Jesus does miracles from heaven. He answers prayers, showing that He's claiming to be God. And the Father and Jesus the Son send the Counselor. Muhammad doesn't believe Allah is the Father, and he doesn't believe Jesus is the Son. How in the world can you say this is Muhammad? The only comment I have about that is that there might not be any proof from the Bible, from the Bible that Muslims believe has been preserved. Um, there, as you know, there are other Gospels that they were suppressed and they were destroyed. The, uh, one of them is Gospel of, according to Thomas okay. that has surfaced in, since, the, I believe, 40. But uh, not going to untangent. Regarding what you said about all the other um, scriptures have been preserved, uh, chapter 2 Cor of Koran, Surah yes, Bagara, 75, 79, and 174, you will find your answers. If you yeah. want, I can read that to you. Uh, if you want, I can address it for text. you. Do you want me to address Surah and, 279? Because and, I, I must say... And then, then, Go ahead. then Go ahead. I can... Besides that, my other, my other point is that then, why would Jesus, in uh, John 20, part of 17, says, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, mm -hmm. to my God and your God. Amen. If He is God, Let me go first. why would okay. He say, I'm going to my God? All right, I will address and, that. And furthermore... Uh, John 17, 3. Yes. And this is the eternal life that they may know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom thou okay. hast sent. Excellent. So it's, re it's referring to one single this. God and yeah. his Messiah. Just real quickly so I don't and that, that's all for me for tonight. Okay. Thank you. Now, no, he's going to give an answer to other Gospels. I just want to say real quickly, and I'll answer this after he finishes. If John 20, 17 and 17, 3 are true, then again, Muhammad has to be a false prophet. And let me give you the quick answer. He'll talk about the other Gospels, and then I'll come and answer these more in depth. Notice John 20, 17, he says, I'm ascending to my Father and your Father. Again, Jesus says God is a Father to Jesus and disciples. Muhammad says he's a Father to no one. So if that's true, Muhammad is not a true prophet. John 17, 3, when he says, This is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you sent. Read the two verses before that. He says, Father, glorify your Son that your Son may glorify you. So the only true God there is the Father of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is His Son. So if the only true God is the Father, again Muhammad must be a false prophet because Allah is not a Father. So if those passages are true, Islam is wrong. And I'll come back and give more in-depth responses to these passages in reference to the deity of Christ. But he wants to address the Gospels. Yes, uh... I, I do respect your, your honesty and your responses to uh, many of the answers that we've given. And after we, we showed that each one of your claims about the Torah and the New Testament are false, you said, well, maybe this gospel, this book that we have here, isn't the one Muhammad was referring to. Maybe he was referring to some other gospel when he said that in the Injil uh, there are references to him, and I think that Muslims have to say something along those lines because there is nothing in the Bible about Muhammad in a positive sense. The only biblical references we have to Muhammad would classify him as a false prophet. But now Muslims are really stuck because you must claim that there are these other Gospels that do point to Muhammad. The problem is where are these Gospels? Keep in mind when Surah, 4, Surah 7, 157 
came down, it said that we, we have this. We can, we can open these books. We have these books in our possession. We can open them and find these references. So these books must have been ex in existence at the time of Muhammad. So what books are they? The only one you mentioned is the Gospel of Thomas. That's certainly not a first century gospel. In fact, uh, it must come after 160. Recent uh, scholarly research has shown that whoever wrote the Gospel of Thomas was familiar with a book called the Diatessaron, which would make the Gospel of Thomas uh, would, would place it in the second half of the second century. So this, is, this book isn't anywhere near the time of Jesus. And even with that, let's go ahead and say, I'll grant you the Gospel of Thomas. Show me anything in the Gospel of Thomas that would point to Muhammad. If you actually read the Gospel of Thomas, it's very short, you would see that as a Muslim, you simply cannot agree with the Gospel of Thomas. But what does this leave you with? Show me any Gospel. Show me any Gospel we have record of. Uh, again, Muhammad had this book. This, people had this book during the time of Muhammad. Show me any book that points to Muhammad. We don't have one. There is none. And my friend, I would just ask you, think about this. Muhammad says there's a book that you have access to. If you open this book, it contains clear references to me. Who has the book? It's the book of the Christians. We go to the book of the Christians. What is the book of the Christians? It's the Bible. It's the New Testament. It's the Torah. We open this book. We don't find anything telling us that Muhammad was a prophet, but we find passage after passage after passage telling us not to believe in him. Now, if this is the case, why would you not immediately reject Muhammad as a prophet and realize that he cannot be speaking the truth? He told you, he made a promise, he promised you that there were passages about him and they are not there. He made a promise and he broke his promise. How can you believe in him?